everyone! So today, what I'm doing is my May favorites because it's the end of May. So I have a few favorites for you. It's mostly ranging like clothes and makeup stuff, like nothing really crazy, but we'll start with the non-makeup items so that we can get to the good stuff. So first of all are these like wedge heels. I don't know. They've been my favorites for like the past like month and a half that I've had them, but they're really cool. I was wanting to get the Tom's one is the story behind this, but I kept checking back for probably about two or three weeks and the Tom's website never got my size. So I just went on and got these. These are like poser Tom wedges. They're city classified. I'll leave the link down below and they were much cheaper. They're like 20 bucks a piece and I also got the tan pair, so that's cool. Alright, next, I got my very first pair of Converse. I got these like two days ago, so I don't really know if they're a favorite, but I've worn them ever since, so I'm assuming they are. I feel like I'm just now jumping on the bandwagon with these. Maybe I'm a little late, I'm sorry, but they're cool, right? Okay, I lied. I have non-clothes makeup products. I have two different ones, I'm sorry, but first off is my vlog camera that I just got recently and this was a big investment that I'm really excited to use and learn how to um, make everything look better than just if I was using my phone or anything, but this is the Canon SX610HS, that's how you say it. So. That's my new camera and I'm really excited about it. And then the next is a, like, face cleanser item. I don't really know what to say, but this is Lush's Tea Tree Water. And it's pretty much for, like, oily skin. It's supposed to help, like, free radicals and um, to tone your face so it's a toner. And I'm really liking it. I've been using it for about two weeks now and I have really no complaints. The smell is kind of, like, not great, but for the quality you get, I can't complain. Okay, moving on to makeup items. First off, I have this, I think this is Maybelline. Yeah, Maybelline Dream Lumi. It's like a highlighter concealer and the sanitary questionability of this is high on my scale, but it works really well and I think it's a good product, so I'll probably rebuy it. I'm not sure, I'm almost out, so we'll see. Okay, next is a NYX Butter Lipstick. This is in Pops Explosive. I've had this for about a month and you can see how close I am to being done. I love this stuff. It's like the perfect nude for my skin tone, which is pale. Alabaster. Oh, it's alabaster. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I'll just swatch it like a little bit. Are you going to hold it out? Yeah. No. Like, that's it. You can see, it, even with my skin tone on my hand, it looks really like pretty and nude, but we're moving on. Next is Mega Length Mascara from Wet n Wild. This is like the perfect like mascara for your lower lashes. It has like a tiny little brush you can see right there. Yeah, you can see if I put my hand in front of it. But this is like the perfect mascara for just like the first coat is what I like doing and then going with other stuff after that. Next thing is, this is a NYX gel liner. I keep it in the box and upside down because the instructions say to keep it in the dark upside down. So I'll follow the directions to make sure it lasts longer or whatever, but it's just a black liner and I think it works really well and it stays all day and everything. Good eyeliner, you should get it if you want, but moving on. My last favorites of the month is this Bodyography Brow Trio powder. And if you watched my BoxyCharm video, which you should go watch, I'll leave the link down below. This was from my BoxyCharm, and I really like it, and I've used all the colors from the light to the dark, and it every color works really well for what I want it to do, and I just mix it up every day, and I really like it. So that's my May favorites. If you guys want to check out any of these items, I will look up 
almost everything for all these and try and leave links below to where you can find them and buy them. But as far as like the drugstore makeup goes, I may not leave those below because you can go and get those at the drugstore. Other than that, I'll leave everything below so you can go buy everything. If you like this video, you should give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want and tell your friends and yeah. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye.